Okay, so what is going on everybody? This is Mehul and welcome to your 18th React.js tutorial in which we'll be starting with our tic-tac-toe application. So let's just begin. Well, to take a look at this first, we can see that now with create react app, we are able to import CSS as simple as writing just import and then slash app css and if we take a look at this app.css you can see this file is directly used in our um, component right so you can just break all the css according to different different components and you will not be you know you will be able to discard or not use any styles which are not required by that particular component okay so that's a different thing first of all let's just get rid of all this and uh, we don't need the logo as well okay so now first thing we can say that this is divide game and uh, now we can go ahead and say head or you know what we call this as a scoreboard or anything like that and then we can go divide board and like and i guess i have emit right yeah okay anyhow so again for the board what we need is uh, we need nine divs which would be squares right so what we can do is uh, div dot uh, square uh, times nine and hit tab now what this was was uh, is it, it is a plugin called emit and if you want this feature you can just install it by going to con by pressing control shift p and package control install and uh, it will just load the repositories and just write emit right i already have that installed so it doesn't show up for me but it it would just it would just be emit right not this emit css snippets or anything like that it's just emit and then once it's installed for me it works for tab i don't know i configured it back but it's usually control e as well so maybe it works for control e as well yeah but for me tab also works fine right so anyways now we have got everything if i save this you can see that we'll get nothing right and that's cool so if i fire up this terminal and we take a look at the board we see all of our stuff pretty cool right so if we go to the css and do a little of resetting of styles and box sizing border box we're gonna need this and then what we can do is we can say our board is a flex container and uh, we can set its width as uh, uh, we have nine boxes right so we can just go ahead with the 600 maybe for now and for square we can say its width is um 100 pixel height is also 100 pixel uh we can just give it a background of or rather just a border right one pixel solid black okay now they're all in one line i don't want that so i'm gonna flex wrap wrap and uh, fair enough we have 600 pixel right so this should be 200 okay yeah but that's way too big for the screen so let's just drop it to 300 and i guess 100 would be good okay cool now we have got our boxes ready and you can just tweak it a little bit as well to remove the lines from the corner boxes right that should not be a problem okay now we can just create our header as well so we can say world's best tic tac toe ai or anything like that ai and you can see that sort of works and if you take a look here in the game 
we're gonna actually make this as a flexbox container as well to center it and we can say justify content center align items align items center and uh, uh, flex direction should be row or column rather okay yeah so for the head we can do font size 20 pixels or 25 would be good and uh, we can do like padding 15 pixels or something yeah that's that will just do for now okay so now we have our grid ready and uh, a basic interface ready right so the next thing we need to do is to work with a little of javascript to place the cross or the o wherever the user clicks and switching all the turns and all that good stuff all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add uh, on click here and i'm gonna say um, clicked maybe anything like that and uh, what we can do in here or we can just pass in the event as well we can create clicked here and again this would be this dot clicked right and we can say this console log this event right so or rather we should just do even the target so if I click on this we get these squares right and they are all individual squares separate squares right yeah that works good okay so now we have got the squares so we can just simply change the inner HTML or inner text or inner content of these squares accordingly to the turn and we can just switch that. So we essentially are just left with the game logic and we'll be good to go. So that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.